DPP lawmakers are calling out Beijing for intervening in Taiwan's upcoming elections. According to DPP caucus Secretary General Zhuang Reixiong, Taiwan nationals in China are being offered discounted flights so that they can go home to vote in January. Most Taiwanese working in China are believed to be supporters of the pro-China KMT. In addition, China is working to sway voters already in Taiwan by disseminating anti-U.S. pro-China content on social media. Reports also suggest that China has reached out to pro-KMT pundits and pollsters, inviting them to produce content that can direct public opinion. The DPP Legislative Caucus held a press conference on Wednesday condemning China's Association of Taiwan Investment Enterprises on the mainland. The association is offering discounted tickets from 10 Chinese airlines to encourage Taiwanese nationals to return home for the presidential election. We're having elections again, and China is once again offering discounted tickets at about 40% off. If you want to go back to vote on a cheaper flight, the CCP has you covered. Every time there are elections in Taiwan, China resorts to its usual ploys. It's all trickery and deceit. The lawmaker also condemned China for its cognitive warfare campaign. According to Mirror Media, a Taiwan politics program produced by Fujian Straits TV is funded by China's Taiwan Affairs Office. The program allegedly pays participants a high fee of 20,000 NT per 20-minute episode. Lawmakers warn that even shows produced in Taiwan are being used for cognitive warfare. We have seen a lot of short clips that originate from pro-KMT political talk shows. They take some excerpts and broadcast them on Phoenix TV. Then that gets cut into short videos that later get shown to Taiwanese viewers through TikTok, Facebook or Line. I think everyone can see very clearly the impact that this can have on Taiwan's elections. These videos re-edited by Chinese media outlets are circulated on many media platforms. Their content conveys pro-China and anti-U.S. sentiments, promotes support of a KMT-TPP alliance, and attempts to instill fear of war. To further their agenda, the CCP's propaganda department and units under the Taiwan Affairs Office have reportedly reached out to pro-KMT pundits, retired officials and pollsters, bringing them to panels in China and inviting them to collaborate. Through disinformation and manipulation, China is trying to shape the narrative on peace and war. China is also working with polling agencies to fabricate polls that they can disseminate to intervene in the election. From pundits to pollsters, China is believed to be leveraging Taiwan's own people to wage a cognitive war. With Election Day fast approaching, the tactics are only expected to escalate.